Hales, been designing loudspeakers and in the audio business for, I hate to say this, but 40 plus years, both on the sort of consumer side as well as a period of time in professional audio. And then the, the companies I, I have today are kind of a blend of both of those fields. We make professional products, but uh, also sell them into consumer market. Our product is a little different. First of all, from the very inception of the brand back in 2004, the speakers were always built to the commercial cinema specification. So the idea of base management really wasn't required because the, the speakers were all full range and so you could kind of set everything to large. Now with the advent of Dolby Atmos, that's changed a little bit because now we have speakers everywhere, including on the ceiling, and those tend to be smaller usually uh, even in the big systems, they tend to be smaller and some base management is required. And so the matrix base management feature is something that we utilize all the time. And we also have base management in our loudspeaker controllers. And so the immersion gets really good when it's full range, right? When you're not redirecting base just to the front wall, for example, but the base is coming from where the surround information is, it really enhances the realism of the envelopment. And so between the sort of matrix capability of the Altitude 32 and what we can do in our loudspeaker controllers, we get a very, very powerful, realistic, three-dimensional sound field all around you. This facility, which uh, we've been here in this space for about nine years, I think, initially on that half, and we expanded into this section that we're sitting in right now uh, over the last couple years. Uh, there's about 8,000 square feet all the products, both for theory and pro audio technology, are represented in here. There's two dedicated theater rooms, one upstairs and one just kind of behind me here. So upstairs we have an 11.2.6 system on a altitude 32. We run into systems with the altitude uh, at the helm probably more now than ever. We've seen an uptick in the very large systems, like more than you know, 20 channels and up, right? And so that slots in very nicely with what the altitude does. And it's great for us because we sell more speakers, of course, um, but we're putting in some very, very large systems and most of them have the altitude in it. Yeah, we recommend the altitude quite frequently, actually. And any time the channel count gets above 16, it's kind of a go-to piece for us. Uh, the capability, the channel count, the integration with DCI rooms, which we encounter a lot now, it all makes it a very good choice for that kind of a system. The thing that I really appeals to me about the Altitude and about Turnoff as a brand, actually, the level of attention to detail in the engineering inside what the Altitude does I think Tronoff has a really good understanding of the difference between automated calibration algorithm, what's possible and what's not possible, what the limitations are, and the amount of flexibility within the optimizer to customize it, to, to try to achieve the results that you're going for. Like for example, the ability to target a left and right speaker response as the target response. This, this kind of thoughtfulness appeals to me because I, more than probably most understand the complexities of audio systems and acoustics and, and all the variables, right? And deploying these things is, is complex and it's not a perfect science. And I think as sophisticated as the engineering is in the Trinov processor, but there's also an acknowledgement to the challenges that you encounter when you go into a, a complex room with a bunch of speakers and an unknown acoustic, and sometimes the acoustics are challenging. It's a really powerful tool. <laughs>